à l'héroïne. Pump review. That shit was so good. My pump's gone now, but holy shit, my shoulders, dude. Pump review. 10 out of 10. What is up, gang? Welcome back to the YouTube. Now that the travel vlog series is over, my focus is going to be on you guys. I want to make highly personal YouTube videos and just kind of give you guys a look of what my everyday life looks like and take you guys with me. I know that my YouTube is for the people that support me mainly and the people who watch my YouTube videos consistently and comment consistently are, uh, are the people that are really supportive of me and really fuck with me. So. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of a day in the life, just kind of take you guys with me uh, throughout today and maybe tomorrow if that's how this video plays out. But I'm gonna use this as kind of like an FAQ video. I get asked a lot of questions, a lot of the same questions too. So throughout my day, as I think of them, I'm gonna throw them in here. Uh, I just finished up working on my website for Greek God's Gear. It is now officially up and running. The drop is tomorrow because that means today is the 30th. So much has gone into preparing for this drop and making sure that the shirts are ready to go and ready to be shipped out, ready to be you know, exported. I put in a lot of work behind the scenes on making sure that all the shipping labels are gonna go, uh, getting it printed and it's just been a lot of work and the culmination of all this and kind of seeing like where it's gonna end is really cool. And I, I was talking to Germ uh, earlier this week about it and uh, I think I'm gonna make my merch full time. I really like being able to design clothes and put them out there for you guys. As you guys already kind of know, I really like fashion. So I'm gonna put a lot more effort and a lot more work into my merch line. I'm hoping to do about one drop a month, but Honestly, bro, uh, we'll see what God has for me and uh, how hard I can put my efforts into this. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go make some breakfast and then I will see you guys as we're getting ready for the gym. This is the fit right now. I'm wearing some blue shorts, but it's finally gym time. It's been a busy morning. I spent all morning getting ready for the Greek God's Gear drop and prepping the website, as I already told you guys, there is a lot of work that goes into that behind the scenes. And there is a lot of work that goes into making YouTube content consistently and uploading TikTok consistently. But I love this thing. I, I love this job. I love the fact that I get to, uh, you know, every day it's kind of a mystery, what's gonna happen, what's going on. And uh, I love the sense of insecurity because, or not insecurity, but no security, because it forces me to strive to do better. It forces me to be great. It forces me to be not average. Yeah, some days it gets uh, hard, some days it weighs on my mental, but you know, I don't think it's gonna be like this forever. And I wrote down in my goals that by 2024, I wanna have a million on TikTok and 200K on Instagram. And I just smashed the 200K goal uh, three or two days ago now. So it is only up from here and I just have to keep it going. I also have to remind myself that I am 20 years old and most of the 20 year olds um, that I know aren't doing the same type of thing that I am. And so instead of comparing myself to like the 1% of the 1%, the people that are in my industry and are doing the best of my industry at a couple years older than me, I just have to remember that I'm gonna get there. I have to remember that the work that I'm putting in is the same exact work that they put in and that it's just a matter of time and uh, not to sleep on myself but we're gonna get changed. Yeah, I'm thinking it is what I hit back and chest yesterday, so that would make today um, like arms, but I think I'm gonna do more chest and some rear delts and probably some tries, maybe some abs, we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna get changed. Oh. So this is it. We have the Greek God's Gear Founders Collection Tees which are dropping tomorrow. Very excited. Um, and some black, a black wife beater and the ooh, brown for him joggers. I'm gonna go eat breakfast so that I don't feel dead during the gym and I can actually get a good pump. And then uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating because I always get asked, Tommy, what do you eat? So uh, I'm gonna go make breakfast.
For breakfast today, I'm gonna have Greek yogurt with some raisin bran for some quick carbs, one of my favorites, and then some echo protein on top because I just got all my echo stuff in from it being shipped out in between the time of me becoming an echo athlete and me going to Texas. So yeah, uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm done making it, but I wanted to use this opportunity to show you guys like my creatine because you guys asked me, Tommy, do you take creatine all the time? So this is the creatine that I take. It is the echo creatine. We make absolutely zero commission off of plugging this to you guys. So don't think that I'm plugging this to you guys just cause I'm sponsored. I like orange dream flavored stuff. If you follow me for a minute, I've said this a million times. Orange dream is my favorite flavor of anything ever. So every morning, on my way to the gym and at the gym, I have like a little half gallon of water here that I fill with my creatine so that I can have something like flavored. Cause on the cut, bro, you get so hungry and just so like thirsty for, or, or even just like, your cravings are just on another level when you're on the cut. But this isn't even really just like a cut, this is bodybuilding prep. So I am next level hungry and thirsty for anything but water and diet soda all the time. So I found that flavored creatine really helps keeping my cravings at bay. And plus it helps me get my water in, drink a ton of water with a ton of flavored creatine in it. But uh, don't pass like seven, 10 grams a day. That's where you start making problems for yourself. Now, unfortunately, I am out of most of my groceries as this is the first real breakfast I'm making since I got back from Texas. But uh, I'm gonna take you guys with me to the grocery store after the gym. Uh, you guys will get to see what I eat on meal prep. It's pretty much the same thing every day, as unfortunate as that is to say. It gets old, but it gets you shredded. So there are decisions to make in this life sacrifices to be made in order to reach your dreams and my goals do not give a single fuck if i want to be doing any of this if i'm comfortable if this is what's making me currently happy stoicism is all about sacrificing your current happiness for you know ultimate gratification down the road and i think yep. with the way that this bodybuilding prep has gone that i'm i've been pretty successful at that but this just goes to show that there's so much more that goes into it besides just like being a, an influencer. For me, this is much less about the influencing right now and much more about my show because I want to take first place. I'm going to take first place. Hopefully I'll be able to get my natural pro card and, you know, be a natural pro bodybuilder at 20. I've been feeling recently like, you know, all the days that I didn't want to get out of bed, all the cold showers I didn't want to take. All the mornings that I woke up and immediately was in my own head. All the days that I told myself that I wasn't able to succeed because I'm not where I want to be are kind of all paying off. I'm getting down closer to the line with the show. It's starting to be serious, man. It's starting to really settle in just how much I've sacrificed for this, you know, like how much I've given up to do what I want to do and uh, do what honestly makes me happy. I love this industry. I love what I do for work. I I love just about every minute that I get to spend talking to the camera and making content for you guys, editing, just doing the works, man. I think that's really cool. I think that there aren't a lot of people that have a heart for it the same way I do. There aren't people that have the same kind of drive that I do when it comes down to specifically fitness influencing and like wanting to be a bodybuilder. But I think that's kind of what sets me apart. And I think that's what you guys like to see. That's what you guys want to see. So, yeah. This is what the breakfast comes out looking like. Doesn't look very good, but the macros and calories are fire. Exciting, my new phone just came in, so I won't be filming shit and have my phone die halfway through the workout uh, every single time, so. Damn, I wish I would've gotten a first bite taste test. That new vanilla ice cream protein from Echo, straight fire, bro. I am setting up my new iPhone finally have a new phone that I can record high quality videos on, but I'm waiting for my dad to send me a password so I can connect my accounts. But while I'm waiting on that, I'm gonna run you guys through my pre-workout stack because I get asked a lot. EchoVision has a lot of pre's, so 
kind of just saying like echo vision is dumb so this has been my stack as of late hatman i really like hatman because it's high stim and also uh, on the lower side of the caffeine dosages i think this one has uh yeah two scoops is only 275 so my anxiety tends to spike when i take a lot of caffeine so even if i double scoop this it doesn't go over 300 and i normally have a cup of coffee with my breakfast in the morning i just didn't this morning i'm still not going over 400 migs for the day yep and i've been taking vaso drive I, if you guys follow my tiktok you have seen these oh from echo vision super fire pump every time the formula is literally designed to promote healthy veins stimulate extra blood and nutrients or the the needed blood and nutrients for your capillaries and blood vessels so i'm gonna finish setting up my phone and eating and so change of plans like there always is with me for some reason but i finally got my new phone up and running and good so I'm gonna be on my way to the USPS, USPS, UPS store to drop off my old phone. And then we're gonna head to the gym, but I'm hungry after it's been a couple hours since I've ate. So my go-to as always normally is a cinnamon raisin bagel. But since we don't have those, I was gonna do a regular Rice Krispie, but I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna go to 7-Eleven because I have time anyways, and I've already made my pre and everything, um, and just go get uh, the Fruity Pebble Rice Krispie from 7-Eleven because those are my favorites. You guys already know that. Ugh. Okay, so it's fucking gym time. I finally dropped off my old phone at the UPS store, so that means I finally get to go to the fucking gym. It's chest and back day, so let's get this fucking workout. Oh my god! My camera fell! So, because I'm stupid, I have to go to Best Buy right now and buy a pair of wired earphones because I forgot my headphones. So let's go to Best Buy! Love when the sound is crashing in on me. Love how the lights awake the night. Love where we stand we before eternity. Code T Spall. Love what I'm feeling deep inside. The sun is fading now. I feel that this could be the moment. And
sick fucking pump. Um, I'm really happy with the way that that turned out. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't expecting much from today's workout because I've been kind of tired the last couple of days, traveling, getting used to being in the California time zone again. And I haven't had a quality day of eating in a little bit, but we're about to go to the grocery store. I'm gonna bring you guys with me so you guys can see what I'm eating on prep. And uh, then we're gonna make some dinner and I might play some video games or something. I have some free time for the first time in a little bit. Maybe we'll go hang out with some friends, but it'll be nice to just kind of be able to hang, chill. I did all the work on the Greek Gods Gear website this morning, so it's all ready for tomorrow's drop. I set everything up with Shopify. Yeah, just a lot of big things happening soon. Really excited to bring more to you guys, to contribute more to you guys. Um, you guys have been loving on me so hard, so I want to give back. I think that it's awesome that I have this opportunity where I'm at to be able to bring cool new content to you guys. So starting probably this week or next week, I want to do either one or two more YouTube videos a week. So I'm going to edit this one myself. I've been editing this one. My, or I should say I am editing this one myself. I did edit this one myself. And we're going to see how it goes because if I can do it, then we'll be putting out more content for you guys weekly. And I'm going to grow the YouTube fam. I'm going to also start a Discord. I got put on to do that by Germ. I'm super excited for that because my sister's making it for me. And then I'm going to run a Discord where you guys will be able to get all the insider news on what's going on, what I'm filming, what I'm doing, uh, where I'm at, stuff like that. It's gonna have a lot of information about my show, all that good stuff. So, love you gang. Let's go to the store. Introduce yourself, what's your name? What up, my name's Braden Ritz. Braden Ritz <laughs> underscore lifting. Let's see the Arnold, my friend. Come on, I just taught him how to pose. Let's go. Tilt, yo. Yo, that looks beautiful, baby, yo. There you go, hey, hey, hey. Oh, there you go. Just, <laughs> I just met Samir, bro. Yeah. I'm freaking out. So I've been editing and uploading TikToks for like the last hour instead of going to the grocery store because I'm gonna go with Tommy Brown. I'm waiting for him to pull up. It was either edit, it was either edit TikToks or edit my YouTube video. So I decided to do TikToks because those are, um, and I can give more attention to my YouTube later tonight. Uh, yeah, just waiting on Tommy to get here, and yeah, it's 5:30 been working on the, like the last like hour and a half two hours so excited to eat gotta get some grub eat big to get big baby oh, i started editing and now it is finally time to go get some food i'm gonna go get some groceries and then come back here cook some food finish up editing and then go on a walk with tommy brown tonight for some cardio uh, we're about to leave, but my go-to snack on the cut recently has been go-go squeezer pouches, bro. The apple cinnamon flavor, so far. All right, get your ass up, cuz, let's go. Bro, prep's killing me, bro. I literally feel like I'm blacked out standing up. I compete in two weeks. I was supposed to compete with him, for those of y'all that don't know. I'm at that show, but Texas fucked me up, but we also found a show that was way closer to home, so I'm gonna go probably to his show, most likely to support and watch him compete and then we're both going to be competing on august 8th in san diego excited for that you know who i think is competing in that who? max taylor no way I we just pulled up to target target's just kind of like average prices so it's a vibe too plus yeah i always love like going to target to shop i don't like i don't ever dislike my experience like shopping at target so you know when you go to target with like a chick bro they love that shit yeah on god if you want if you want a good date idea bro go get ice cream with a girl go get ice cream or like coffee or something and then bring her to target like swear she'll have the best time ever first up on the list my personal favorite next up i already told you all about the strawberries and cream so we getting strawberries, baby. Damn it, bro. They don't have they don't have 8320 or 8020. Our finals got way better quality beef too. And it's cheaper. Alright, we'll we'll stop. We'll hit there on the way out then, because it's in the same parking lot. Oh, the essential for my morning coffees, bro. Protein yogurts and that regular yogurt. They're both high in protein. The actual protein yogurt itself though is just like really high in protein. It's like essentially it's just yogurt whipped together with whey protein. Yup, 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 happening. Bro, you gotta try these. Yup, happening. Sea salt caramel, no, that shit like melts those, in your bro. mouth. I, to, I don't want the shit, I'm bro. gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. All right, all right, all right. If you're really down bad, super deep on the cut and you need protein late at night, these are the best, these tuna packs are like the best way to get protein. Look, like, look at this. 
Look at the macros on this. 80 cows for a pouch, half a gram of fat, four grams of carbs, 14 grams of protein. Man, it's the tuna spread. These are fire on the bolt because you can literally just eat them, like snack them, but I am too fat for that. We are doing blueberry bagels. Like I said, anything flavored on the cut, bro. Anything flavored. Now, when I make my own rice, I like to make jasmine rice, so I always get the jasmine rice bags, but right now, I do not want to cook at all, so I'm going to buy the Minute, Maid. the Minute Maid Jasmine. It's essentially the same thing. It's just like in a jiffy when you need to cook rice fast, makes your life a whole hell of a lot easier. My fucking sisters keep eating all of mine, but these absolute essential it's my go-to if you follow me you know i fucking love raisin bran what where'd the cart go then these are my morning essential i have those every morning with a cup of coffee and some protein powder and maybe even some strawberries i grab these every once in a while on the cut when i need a quick snack because i get so tired of rice krispies dude like so tired of rice krispies so you know it's an essential but what, what, what do you feel about rice krispies dude to be honest me and Tommy definitely eat a little different, even though I'm his coach in the sense of I could eat the same plain food every day because I just don't care about the taste of food anymore. I've gone through prep four times. I don't even have Rice Krispies anymore or any anything pretty much. But for 99.9% .9 of the population, finding little treats in between that you could have to like keep yourself satiated and satisfied, that's gonna be the go-to. So you gotta find something that works for you. Diet sodas, I got one of these, one of these, and I have to get a thing of diet yeah, that's what I do get. Diet, diet sodas are my fucking best friend. That's everything from Target, and then we're gonna stop by Smart and Final. I just got invited to go bowling with the boys. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna be going bowling. I'm gonna. It's time to <laughs> time to show these fools what's good. Yeah, I'm asking. The, ba bowling. the Baj, the Baj method, bro. The Baj method. Baj, you put me on, bro. I love you. Let's go. It's full. With the with the Jordan slides on. With the with the slides on. That's bro. essential. We got through. Uh, the damage done was. $111, but that is for about a week's-ish worth of groceries with the other stuff I have, and we didn't get the beef, so gotta go to Smart and Final real quick and get the beef. Guys, it's gonna take a little bit more, you know, out of your pockets if you wanna eat healthy, especially living in America. If you wanna eat healthy and be able to buy cheap food healthily, you're gonna have to go to another country. Um, but there are ways to get around it. You can buy a 25 pound bag of rice for $25. What up, gang? Okay. Um, I was a supporter. That's cool as fuck. Um, you can buy a 25 pound bag of, beef, uh, of rice for 25 bucks. You can buy 10 pounds of beef for 20 bucks. Like, there are ways to get around it. If where there's a will, there's a way. So I don't want to hear excuses from people saying, ah, it's too hard to eat healthier. It's too expensive to eat healthy. It's no, it's I, I don't have the. I don't have the, I don't want to give it the time of day to figure out how to do it with that also fits my budget. If you want to like get shredded, you totally can. You're just not going to be able to do it as comfortably. Like if you're broke as shit, you can still get shredded. It's just not going to be as comfortable as you'd like. Like you're not going to be able to get like shit like this or like maybe like protein chips because this is the expensive shit. It's really not the other stuff that's that expensive. It's it's the amenities, the shit that makes yeah, it nice. It's the stuff that makes cutting more enjoyable, way easier. Yeah. You can't eat out. You're gonna have to eat in. Especially, I mean, even on the bulk, bro, if you wanna bulk like well, if you wanna bulk with the best results possible, you're gonna have to bulk clean, bro. You're gonna have to well, bulk. Well, I mean, you could bulk, like for me, my best friend was in and out because you could just get like a fuck ton of patties. That's also true. And it was true. really cheap. But especially when I didn't have a kitchen because of my old college, the dorm I was in. We are headed to Smart Final to get beef. Told y'all, same parking lot, so it's easy, but we're gonna go see what they got as far as meat goes. We got the beef, and I also got some more vanilla because I make coffee literally like four times a day. <laughs> yeah, dude. I didn't know these existed until like two seconds ago. Snag. So we got three pounds of beef, and all the groceries from Target and some more sugar-free syrup. All in total, cost me about 130 bucks. I'd say that's pretty average for my grocery price for the week. What do you spend on groceries? About the same? Yeah, probably a little cheaper. There's a lot of this shit, I guess, just like beef, rice, yogurt. Yeah, that's true. Like I, have, I have a little bit more of an expensive taste just because I 
I like to eat sugary shit, especially the stuff that's like highly it's processed so and stuff. And I literally can't, I can't eat bland like seven days in a row. I have hey, to do, wait, I can do like six and then there's one day where I have to have like a little bit of sugar. I don't really get cheat meals anymore because I'm so close to show. Um, so now it's like one meal out of the week, instead of eating perfect on meal plan, I'll have a halo top or like low cal ice cream and like a sandwich or like something like that's not on meal plan because I'm that down bad at this point. But, but it's not necessarily unhealthy. Yeah, it's not unhealthy. I think that's really important to still have during the end. And I think if you're not planning on competing and you just want to get really lean for summer, a cheat do meal not, that's hard once a week is fine. Do not track your calories like one day a week if you're not trying to compete, dude. Give yourself one day of just intuitive eating, doing whatever you want. It doesn't matter, bro. Weekly caloric deficit and monthly caloric deficit are more important than daily caloric deficit. 100 percent even if you go like like take me for example my cheat meal my last cheat meal was six thousand calories because i just i have been cutting for so long i finally just let myself eat for a day yesterday was the first day after that and all i did was drink two to three gallons of water and do a little bit more cardio like i didn't i didn't eat under nothing i had this conversation with tommy who's also my coach I was like, fuck dude, like I fucked up. I think I'm gonna eat under. And he was like, nah, dude. I was it, like, you, it, you basically have to keep in mind you're in a deficit all the time. Yeah. So there's there's no point in tripping over one day. But there's always more time, bro. There's always more time. If, if people, especially with your physique, if you're worried about being like at a certain goal by a certain time, just remember that there's literally always more time. Time is our most valuable asset, but it also this is the one that expires at the least uh, depreciating rate. Like. We have years and years and years of, of bodybuilding and doing this shit. So even if your cut takes a week, a month, you know, a month and a half longer than it has to, like, oh well, so be it. Same thing with the bulk. I was bulking for four months longer than I than I originally anticipated. But you know what? I, I'm glad that I did it because now during the cut, those extra four bigger. months, those extra four months fucking count, bro. Those extra 10 pounds of muscle counts. The rule is if you can't make the trip in one, the grocery trip in one go, you're a bitch and you need to go lift harder. I guarantee you that's what he's doing right now. <laughs> what? Bro, everyone who lifts always brings everything in in one hand. Cause you're, cause you have the cam, just grab the last soda. Bet that. Oh shit, bro. He got it ready, bro. Uh, uh. We just pulled up to the bowling alley. We're gonna walk in here and say what's up to the boys. I'll switch to a traditional for, for the long Yeah, that's that's all of us. What do we got right there? Y'all gonna subscribe? That's what's up. That's what's up. They subscribe, but they fucking yeah. 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 Damn. Let's go. Let's go. Bounce back and hit the left. I, I, I. Must be nice. Must be nice. 
One day, bro. He starts day. crying. Yeah, literally. <laughs> For real, bro. Shit. Yeah, bro. Let's go. And cinematics. Let's go, bitch. Oh, oh. Off by a what little bit. Fuck? That was Off so by a little bit. Quick clean up. Damn it. Damn it, oh. Damn it bro. Shit. Too much spit. Just bringing that shit out. Um, it's making oh shit we got that butterman lotion butterman butterman we got the butterman hey butterman hey butterman oh we got those two more we got those two more we got one bro we got one down the ain't no way i'm getting this one but like if i do tommy's got to give me like i don't even know and this is for head this is for head from tommy easy head tommy's giving me a head Ask me bro. for a picture, hey, bro. Hey, what? You don't get out of this shit. What, Gare? Yeah. <laughs> Midas <laughs> man. The Midas man. Say, Everyone's camera is out. Right, he's right. nervous. Let's go. Nah, I'm locked in, baby. He's, he's locked in. So he's on the phone, bro. He's been the best. No way. That's not light. That's not light. Well, well, lightning's gonna strike twice. No, guys, take this shit serious, bro. This isn't a game. I'm gonna lose this damn mind, bro. I'm gonna lose my shit. I'll get it, bro. Just short of a massive victory. Man, just freshly back from one. Australia. <laughs> we got two. We need three. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Give it to me. Oh, okay. Okay, easy cleanup, though. We'll take the spare. We'll take the spare. Stay locked in on the water. You feel me? Max. Stay hydrated. Hydro Max. Oh. Hydro Max, looks Max, Lift Max, Weight Max. Battle Fall Max. Oh, B Red wants up. Oh, no. Oh. 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 We're all gonna get herpes now. <laughs> now that I got the aim down, I'm Oh, yeah. We got a little better because my fingers could actually fit in the hole. That's probably what I'm doing. Oh, you were so close. We've all been getting nine, bro. What do you have to say? You just got dethroned. What are you gonna say, bro? Listen, you're on top. You lost. He was tapping yeah. everybody out. We need the press. Yeah, we need the press. What's going on? What do you have to say? Just a warm up. I don't want to hear that shit. You just fucking lost. What do you have to say? You mean the you heard it here live. He's absolutely defeated. He will never step floor on the bowling alley. This is the undefeated man right here. Right here. The, the Patriot champ. Hey, hey, hey. Put the crown on again. Put the crown on again. Hey, oh. hey. How, does it, how does it feel to dethrone the one and only oh. b Rod? No how does Wait, you it feel? Might have to play oh. 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 What is going on here, bro? You're taking a fucking Instagram picture. Bro. Look, what if I like bro. throw it like... No. You can't tell me this isn't like the hold sickest on, place on, ready, and no ready, one's ready? here, dude. Literally no one's gonna walk in on this. I am so proud of you for winning. Exactly. No. Hey, Michael Jordan, easy Scotty Pippen, it's okay. So, finally back to the crib and we made food. We got 12 and a half ounces of 80-20 beef in there, some Quest chips and some rice. I'm gonna be eating that at Tommy's. We're gonna go do a couple, couple laps around the neighborhood and then uh, watch Black Mirror. And then I'm gonna come home and edit for a little bit and then go to sleep. What is up, gang? It is drop day. I wasn't gonna throw this in the video. I was gonna end the video last night, but um, it's drop day. So I wanna just take you guys with me. So Greek God's Gear is coming out in an hour and a half. I really never thought that I would get to this point. I never thought that I'd be where I'm at. I never thought that I would be as supported as I am. So to those of y'all that continue to support me, and no matter what I do, it means more than you think it does. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's gonna be a good day. Um, unfortunately, I also got news that Joe Stetics passed this morning. It's a weird day. It's supposed to be one of the happiest in my career, starting my company. For those of y'all that know Joe, or knew Joe, you knew him as a good guy. You just knew him as somebody that cared deeply about other people and wanted to inspire and create. He was a character. I didn't get to know him in person for a long time, but he was one of the people that helped motivate me to start posting and be confident. The brazar thing um, is one of the things that helped me start my What's Up gang. So 
Joe, you know, I know you can't see this, but thank you, bro. Thank you for everything that you did to inspire me. You did to, even at the Young LA event, you know, you gave me five minutes um, of just talking to me one-on-one -on -one and, and making me know that I was heard. And that may have not been a big impact to you, but that certainly impacted me. I'm trying not to be sad. It is drop day, so I have to be happy, Adam, ready to go. I am making some coffee right now, and then uh, probably have a little bit of a little bit of food for breakfast, and then Tommy's on his way here right now. We're gonna work out early this morning um, so that I can spend the rest of the day uh, packing and fulfilling orders. I'm excited, hope you guys are excited. And it is gym time. I think I'm hitting arms. I have pre-workout Scooby snack and uh, some black coffee and my gallon of water. We are off to the gym. Uh, let's go see how Tommy's doing. I'll see you in the car. We just got to the gym. We've been talking about the fact that Joe passed away like the whole time. I'm literally and pissed. Like, bro, that's like, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to have it be the main focus of this vlog because there's other stuff that we have to that I have to like cover today and stuff. But I do want to say that it's just yeah, sad, bro. Uh, you never really know. It, it's kind of like one, like when X died or when Juice died. Uh, it, it, it's hitting me the same way because I never got to meet X or Juice, but like their music was so impactful to my life that you know even though they didn't know who I was, which is even more different because Joe did know who I was. You know, Joe Joe knew who I was. Me and Joe talked. It was just. Hey, you sent me the video. It's just tough, bro. Because I was like, take a video of him. He likes to go swimming. Just a sad world, bro. Unfortunately, it's the one we live in. But that's what makes life. Don't take anything for granted, bro. Don't take anything. Yeah. Don't take any of your loved ones for granted. I, I posted this on my Instagram story, but I want you guys to take it to heart. You know, um, this life that we have, the life that God gives us, is so short. We don't get to pick and choose what time we're gonna go out. You know, the only thing we get to choose is the impact that we have on others' lives. So make sure that in every interaction that you have, bro, you are being a, a loving voice to somebody else's life. I've made it my life mission to be as loving as possible. I feel like those that know me know that I love well, even though I might not show it the best at all times, I- And it's unconditional love. Conditional love is like you're only, you only love someone if you're like friends with them, or you only love someone if they're doing something for you, or even if you're in a relationship. It's easy to love someone in a relationship, but once you're out of that relationship, once you break up, or maybe you and your friend had a falling out, or maybe you guys move away and you don't see each other, like bro, there's boys I have where I don't see them for months, months. years. Sometimes I years, see them again, and the love is all still there. Just end of the day, bro. Remember that this life is short, and uh, show other people how well uh, God loves us, and be the light of God in other people's lives. Um, you know, be loving, be caring. There's no sense in in uh, trying to you know man up, whatever. Um, I had I had that dichotomy in my head for the longest time that I need to be like the strongest man possible in order to succeed And I've made the most progress in my life Come in the brother. last year by being the most emotionally literate and emotionally present By actively identifying what's bothering me and being able to communicate that effectively and uh, having brothers like Tommy bro just Just be you bro. Just be you. Thank you guys for listening to that um, this lift's gonna be for Joe, bro. Yeah, this lift is, it's this gonna lift be is high gonna be intensity for my brother, bro. For my brother. We just pulled up to this Gold's in Northridge. It's like literally the middle of nowhere, bro. Rocking hot man today. Echo Vision Code T Spall, baby. Look at that, bro. We've been trying to start the lift for like 15 minutes. This shit's ridiculous. What do y'all just say? It's fucking crazy. In here. Ridiculous. Yeah. I'm gonna try and get as much footage of the lift as I can, but I don't want to be on the cam the whole time, so. The drop just went live. Dude, the drop just went live. I'm, I'm like losing it, bro. Dude, that shit's live right now. This motherfucker's doing big things, bro. Bro. I'm, I'm like hitting, I'm hitting back and shoulders right now, bro. Like my heart is racing, bro. I fucking did it, bro. I fucking did it, mom. <laughs> I fucking did it. <laughs> Crazy. Wild. Wild feeling, bro. Crazy ass feeling. Um, <laughs> Thank you, guys. I, I don't have any more words. I'm just like... So much has gone into preparation for this. So much has gone into making this happen, making this a reality. So, thank you.
think it's OG if I take off my shirt. That shit was so good. My pump's gone now, but holy shit, my shoulders, dude. Ridiculous, Ridiculous. bro. Felt like I had a bowling ball implant in that bitch. Katie, pump review. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. This gym is packed as fuck, but it was, I don't know. We got, we got, we got enough, we got enough done. But it was a really solid pump. And and hey, Greek hey, gods hey. here. Hey, and Greek gods here sold uh, half inventory in 30 yeah, minutes. Yeah, in the fucking half time inventory in 30 minutes, bro. Wait, wait, fuck. That, wait, wait. That's so dry. Actually works like a motherfucker. Code T small. That's if you take that. So Code T small. We just pulled up to Kava. Um, I'm starving and I do not feel like going home and cooking three pounds of beef. So yeah. I'm gonna get a Kava bowl and I'm with my coach. So technically, yeah. it's not cheating. As long as you. As you're trying to prioritize protein, make the bowl not too like heavy, and just try to eat as clean as possible. We're both lying, bro. On prep, this is not something you should be yeah, doing. Yeah, we should not be doing this. Neither but of I us, neither of us should be doing this right now. But both of us have been under the last week, so yeah. we should go back to my pad. We are packaging the first round of orders. I have 12 orders to package up and send out. But we're yeah, excited. I'm really excited. Next drop, we're gonna do more marketing. We're gonna do better advertisement. Um, and cooler designs. I know you guys want better stuff for a cheaper price. So I'm sorry to everybody that thought that 40 bucks was a little pricey for a shirt. I know that's how I feel too, but it's tough to keep up with marketing these days. And the price of per shirt is expensive when you're making high quality stuff. So I can only apologize for so much. And uh, I hope that you guys uh, continue to support GGG because it's my baby and uh, I want to see it grow. Here they are. All of the first orders from the Greek God's Gear Founders Collection. Come here, Ma. My oh, wonderful, no. lovely mother <laughs> helps always me. Wait till I look like I've been house all day. Help me hand pack these <laughs> and put them together in these handmade packages because I didn't have the money to make Greek God's Gear custom packages yet. This process has taught me a lot. It's taught me how to run the commerce side of this a lot better. Next drop, I'm more confident in my marketing ability. I'm more confident in my shipping abilities and I'll be much more confident with my packaging abilities and being able to get these orders fulfilled and shipped on time. All of my stuff is shipped same day. So if you guys order from my site, I will pack and ship it the same day. So. It's the Greek God's guarantee right now. Uh, I'm gonna do that for as long as I can, even up until I get, when I get to those big points, I will try to do same day shipping because I hate it when companies take forever to send stuff. But yeah, we're gonna head to the post office to drop these off, then I'm gonna come back here. It is 8.46 p.m. I have been packing and fulfilling and ship shipping, labeling, and all that good stuff for the last two hours. Without further ado, the first round of Greek God's Gear shirts are finally coming out to y'all. I want to say thank you guys for helping support this crazy dream that I had and helping me turn it into a reality. You guys have made, you know, on the days that I feel like a failure, on the days that I feel like a success, it doesn't matter. You guys are there to support me anyways because you love me and you want to see me succeed no matter what I think of myself. And that's something that I'm very impressed of, which I appreciate greatly. So thank you to you all. I love you guys dearly. Good morning. I didn't get the chance to vlog the end of last night because I was too tired. Um, I didn't end up doing anything actually. Me and Tommy uh, went to go hang out with his boys and then just came back here and I immediately went upstairs and went to sleep. Didn't even get to do my cardio. I just wanted to say thank you again and uh, you know, give a proper outro to the video. Uh, Greek God's Gear sold out in the first 12 hours and I have a big tendency to be hard on myself and take misinformation as something that I'm doing wrong. And I realize that I do have a lot of supporters and I do have a lot of people that really, really fuck with me heavily. And so thank you to the people that watch these videos and 
watch all the way to the end. You know, you guys are the people that I make these videos for. And you guys are the people that I make these shirts for. You know, supporters like y'all that watch all my content and want to support me by any means necessary, you guys are the people that I, I won't go up for. You know, this is just a dream and I am just a kid as much as I don't want to say that because I feel like I'm a man. I know I'm a man, but I'm 20. I have a lot of years to grow. I have a lot of room to grow. I have a lot of things to do, things to accomplish, people to meet, things to complete. So... I won't give up. Yeah, this is the end of the day vlog. I think I'm gonna do these. I figured out like a sweet spot. I'll kind of vlog my two days and then spend one day editing and then I can upload. So in total, it'll be about three videos a week. And uh, I think that's pretty manageable. So wish me luck. Uh, I'm gonna edit these, uh, this video today after church. I'm going to service with Tommy. And then, yeah. Hopefully this will be up for you guys um, either or probably Wednesday because it's Sunday right now and uh, I have a video coming out for you all tomorrow, which is the travel vlog three, which I'm really excited about. Have a blessed day, night or evening, wherever you are. Um, remember that God loves you. Remember that I love you and keep your head up. Be positive. Uh, this life has so much negativity we need as much positive reinforcement as we can get.